In the midst of Zimbabwe's ongoing economic hardships, marked by soaring inflation and widespread poverty, the recent unveiling of new, lavish SANU-PF district offices in Shirugwi has sparked controversy and raised questions about the ruling party's priorities. The construction of these offices, reportedly financed by Qingxi Investments, has drawn criticism for its perceived extravagance at a time when many Zimbabweans are struggling to make ends meet. The decision to allocate significant funds towards the construction of party offices, while admirable in its aim to provide ZANU-PF with a permanent and independent operational base, seems incongruous against the backdrop of pressing socio-economic challenges facing the nation. The move has invited scrutiny over the allocation of resources, with critics arguing that such expenditures should be redirected towards initiatives aimed at alleviating poverty, improving healthcare, or addressing infrastructure deficits. The narrative put forth by ZANU-PF officials and Qingxi Investments, emphasizing the importance of supporting the ruling party's vision and fostering development, is met with skepticism by those who view the construction of luxury party offices as a misplaced investment in light of urgent national needs while acknowledging the importance of political infrastructure. Detractors contend that the timing and scale of this project send conflicting messages about the government's commitment to addressing the everyday struggles of ordinary Zimbabweans. In response to criticism, ZANU-PF provincial leaders have defended the decision, highlighting the significance of having dedicated party premises to uphold the party's heritage and operational efficiency. They argue that the project signifies confidence in President Emerson Mnangagwa's leadership and the country's investment climate under the new dispensation, Chengxi Investments. The company behind the construction has justified its support for ZANU-PF by emphasizing the party's role in fostering investor confidence and promoting development. The company's general manager, Mr. Simon Karamanzira, cited the ruling parties. People-oriented approach as a driving force behind their investment decisions. However, amidst the rhetoric of progress and development, many Zimbabweans remain unconvinced. The juxtaposition of opulent party offices against the backdrop of everyday struggles faced by citizens highlights broader concerns about governance, transparency, and equitable resource allocation. The official commissioning of the new district offices by Midlands Minister of State for Provincial Affairs and Devolution, Honorable Owen Kubb, underscores the government's endorsement of such initiatives. Minister Nkub praised Qingxi Investments for its contributions to local development, echoing sentiments of inclusivity and progress. Ultimately, the unveiling of ZANU-PF's new offices in Shirugui epitomizes the complex interplay between politics, economics, and public perception in Zimbabwe. While proponents celebrate the project as a symbol of progress and commitment to the ruling party's legacy, critics argue that it represents a misalignment of priorities in a nation grappling with profound economic challenges. The debate surrounding these new offices underscores deeper questions about governance and the allocation of resources in Zimbabwe. Challenging leaders to reconcile political ambitions with the urgent needs of the populace, as the nation navigates its economic recovery journey, the construction of luxury party offices serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between political symbolism and practical, tangible progress for all Zimbabweans.